Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Play Dragon God. In the last episode, we continued with some of the free expeditions, and now we're going to head to the Blue Mountains in the sky. Fly so high. Come fly with me. Let's fly off to the moon. In the Lama Land, there's a one man band and a two. Anyways, for this episode, we're gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of aerial missions. Alright, and, uh, basically what we have to do here is we have to kill all the enemies in 3 minutes and 20 seconds without using magic. And yes, the, uh, the Cyclopses are back here. They have not been reborn by Jean Grey. Anyways, one thing that I've learned what to do with these Cyclopses is, you see how they're doing that, that beam right there? Uh, basically that will absorb any any attacks that you try to do at them. So what you have to do is target onto them, fly behind them, and hit them with it. That'll stop them from doing that charge beam, and then from there you can really wail at them. Anyways, as you can see, those enemies kind of flew away, and they'll be back. But let's try to get this damn I let's try to get this weapon here. Now, if I don't get the weapons in uh, this video, I will get them off, off screen. But at least I'm showing you one, well, not how it's done, because sometimes it's piss poor on how I do it. But I will be showing you, you know, at least the mission, and then telling you what you have to do in order to do it. See, now, like, right there, we did totally rip that Cyclops a new one. Ah! Jeez, I went right into it. So yeah, as he as he is charging up, if you can hit him from behind, he'll stop charging and then you can hit him even more. And as you can see, I took two direct hits from that blasted Cyclops. So yeah, you wanna you wanna use the fire when he's charging his little beam there. Target onto him so that you can uh, you can hit him when you fly behind him. Let's quickly get over here. We gotta take on another Cyclops. Plus those guys up there, but I'm pretty sure those guys over... Holy shit. And yeah, you can't use magic for this. Which really sucks. So you really gotta, uh... You gotta work quick. There we go. Eat it. Leave me alone, squares. I'll get to you soon enough. I just want to end that Cyclops. Alright, we killed him. Let's start targeting all these little Rubik's Cubes. These Rubik's Cubes that are the devil. The devil cubes. Alright, and I can't use any magic. It really sucks. Because I would really like to. So yeah, just try to lock on as many guys as you possibly can. Alright, turn around. There we go. And I tried this before. This is not my first attempt at this. And I made it to 2. We need to be there at 320 without using magic. And I mean, I was 329, so I was 9 seconds off. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to reshow this. So we get a new weapon called the Guardian's Sorrow. And that's pretty good. It's a pretty good weapon. Um, yeah, let's exchange it for this. A lot of these weapons, we'll be getting a couple that are really good pretty soon, but I'm just going to show off all the aerial missions in this episode, and then the next episode, we'll continue on with story. So let's head over to the Seal of the Forest. I want to say I've already done this one, I've shown you guys, but I'm going to show it again with the level 3 dragon, plus, uh, plus what we got to do here. So, this is with Le Leonard's Regret, if you remember correctly. Now, with the Force of the Seal, we have to beat this mission in 4 minutes and 10 seconds without using any magic. So, yeah, this one could be a real bitch. Without any magic. And I hate these friggin' things here. Whoa. 
too far to the sun, huh? So yeah, we gotta be kind of quick about this, as you can see. But one thing I've noticed, right, is if you, you start getting physically close to these stone things here, they will open up. Which is an interesting thing. I was trying to notice, like, as I was doing these, because obviously this is not my first time doing this either. But I was trying to figure out, like, what are the patterns to these guys? And I've noticed every time I slowly fly over there, they open up and I can shoot at them. But I'm trying to get away from that dragon fire there. But yeah, some of them don't open up. I don't know. And yeah, just shoot at them. Since we have more targets, we should be able to handle them. Try to do this with another dragon, it would it would be crazy hard. I wonder if I'm gonna make this in four minutes. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Jeez. Yeah, so like right there, the theory is wrong that they that they open up when you get close to them. Hey, right, let's take out these dragons. Oh no, all oh, those dragons are dead. But yeah, so four minutes, ten seconds, gotta beat it. There we go. Kill these griffins. There we go. Lesser dragons are a lot easier when you have more targets. Because then they can't get away. Uh, they can't dodge all of them like they could before. And then we got one more guy here. And he's dead. Alright, we got a couple more guys over here. Again, can't use magic. But there are some there are some that you have to you can use magic. But these you got, you can't. Which is a shame. Because it'd be so much easier if I could use magic. And then you got this guy here. He's a real pain in the ass. And even though I got all this health, I'm still sucking. Apparently I'm not I can't play these games. I don't know what you guys think. Am I being too hard on myself? I think I I think I'm uh, being just hard enough. There we go, we beat that son of a bitch. Open your goddamn face. Alright, one griffin guy left. Hey there, I just shot you in the butt. I roasted some griffin ass. Where the hell are you? There we go, beating him. Hopefully that's it. Looks like it is. Nice. Are we going to get the weapon? Yeah, look. See, I still took a buttload of damage. I suck. And look at that. We get the soldier sword. With the breath of Sep... 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 Sepnir, which is, uh... Odin's horsey. Yeah, let's get rid of Injustice and put that one in. Alright, so next uh, flying area we're going to hit, next aerial mission we're going to do in the free mode, I believe, we're going to take on the Ocean Fortress, or the Ocean Temple. Let's see, yeah, no, Blue Mountains already did, Desert and the Moon already did that. I believe I'm, yeah, we're going to do the Ocean and the Temple. Now this one's probably the hardest one, one of the hardest ones. You have to beat this mission in eight minutes, which seems like a lot of time, but there are a ton of enemies with at least 25 HP remaining at the end of it. And you can't use magic. That's some bullshit, don't you think? And now what's ended up going to happen here is I am not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I stink. And, uh, yeah, I can't handle the 
heat wave that they bring on. And you know what the thing is? I think I think with these battles, at least the ocean ones over here, you cannot rely on uh, targeting, at least with these boats. If you just wail at them with your firepower, you should be able to take them out. But yeah, you have eight minutes to destroy a ton of enemies. A shit ton of enemies. And uh, you only have... You can't use magic and you have to do it with 25% of HP remaining. Now, I might not have that at the end, I'm not going to lie. And if that does happen, I am going to do this off screen. And I'm just going to keep trying until I get it. But I do want to at least show off the damn battle. Now, if you remember correctly, there's supposedly elf kids in, uh, in, the, uh, in these boats here. They look less like boats and more like little floating castles. There we go. So that's like phase one. Now we gotta take on the second phase, which is a bunch of a-holes up here. Yeah, look at all look at all this. And I can't use magic? Bull crap. Look at this. Rubik's Cubes assemble! That reminds me Anchorman 2's coming out and I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be great. Yeah, just kinda you gotta dodge these sons of bitches. This is where it gets hard to dodge everything, because there's so much, and you're like, god damn, I just want to use magic on you. If I could, you'd be all be dead. Hey, look at this, I'm losing almost all my HP, just, just flying around, because I'm an idiot, and I can't dodge. I would never be able to play professional dodgeball. Although, from what I hear from my friend Rob, is that apparently professional kickball, like adult kickball, is becoming sort of popular. I seriously thought after, there was a couple of fake sports movies that I seriously thought that we were going to get, like, actual sports out of them. One of them being dodgeball, because I remember that movie, it was so funny. And I could just see regular Joe's... Yeah, and as you can see, my HP is way below 25% at this point. Anyways, I could just see regular Joe's playing that game, and it would be awesome. I've always wanted to see ESPN The Ocho um, from Dodgeball, because they talk about The Ocho on there. And uh, I want to see enough ESPN channels that they actually have to do The Ocho. But I always thought that that would kind of, uh, you know, pick up... Because everyone's played dodgeball, I think, at least in, at least in, on the playgrounds or whatever, and they have similar rules to, to, you know, regular dodgeball games. And the other game that I always thought was going to pick up after the movie was basketball. I always thought that they would eventually make that into a real sport because it just seems like they they kind of uh, they kind of really explain how the game works in the movie. Like, they went through the rules pretty good enough that you could be like, Oh, okay, this is how... Okay, this is how this works. And, like, I'm surprised more and more people haven't come up with playing or making a, an actual basketball league where, you know, people would play basketball. That was a good movie. That was one of the first... Those were the guys who made uh, South Park and whatnot. That was their, one of their first forays in the movie making. Since then, they've gotten extremely much better. They've gotten a lot better. I'm not saying that the, the other movies were crap. Baseball was pretty good. But they've definitely gotten a lot better. Anyways, look at that HP right there, huh? You think I'm going to make it? No. I said, screw it. Let's just use magic. And what I'll do is I'll at least get through this, uh, this chunk here. And look at that. We win. I apologize if I use magic, but look at my remaining health is three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that off screen and get that one. And with that one, we would get the Dragon Storm, which is actually a really nice hammer. It's a really cool hammer. So yeah, I apologize. I'm not going to be doing that one on screen. But I will show you off the weapon and all that good stuff. Next, let's head over to the Sky Fortress in the Sky. Now, for this one, 
we must have at least 75 HP, 75% of the HP uh, in this mission. And we can use magic. So, with this one, it's all about dodging, 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 dodging. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Keep that, keep that HP high. So, they're just weak ships here. And yeah, this isn't too bad, but I actually just kind of... I kind of screw this up because I kind of go head first in this, and I'm almost at 75 HP already, which is crazy. As you can see, I'm not going to be able to make it. But at least you get to use magic for this, so it's all about dodging. And I think I used my magic too early. Or did I? There we go, taking care of business. Taking care of business, although, you know, here we go, we beat him. All right, that was it, that wasn't too bad. I'll just have to, you know, focus a little more on dodging. But we get broken dogma, which I believe is a spear. So yeah, uh, like I said, I will show off the weapons. And I did show off the missions, I just couldn't get the weapon on screen, which is fine, I hope. So let us choose our next destination, which will be above the Imperial Capital in the sky. As you can see, there's one other destination we can go to, but we can't get there yet. So let's see what we have here. We have to kill all the enemies in five minutes and have at least... 50% of our HP. Now, the thing about this is we can use magic. I'm not sure if I did use magic when I was doing this. I thought that it, I was, I might have read it wrong. But yeah, there's a, no, I did use magic. Yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. If they tell me I don't, I, you know, I can use, uh, I can use it, I will totally use it. Anyways, as you can see, there's a Reaper guy right there, so try to kill him first if possible. Because it'll be annoying later if you don't. He's just really annoying and I hate him. I hate these things too. I pretty much hate all the flying stuff. I mean, I don't hate the actual flying things, just the enemies are so annoying. I hate them. But, you know, that's, uh, that's what you get for letting your heart win or however that song goes. Oh shit, I was trying to take care of that Reaper. Ah, screw it. You know what, let's... You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to get... There we go. There we go. Yeah, jeez, we still got a ton of these squares. These devil Rubik's cubes. Kill him? Yeah, alright. Now, now let us, uh, let us take out these sons of bitches. It's too bad that magic doesn't take care of all these a-holes. So yeah, we gotta kill these guys in five minutes. Okay, look at all these guys. I'm not gonna be able to kill them all in five. Come on, open up. There you go. Open up, open up, 
Open up, open up. Open up your doors. I could probably do it in the time allotted. It's just the thing is, I don't know if I could, uh, um, I don't know if I can do it with the HP. That's the problem. I'm not that good. Come on, open up. There. There. I don't know if he did or if I just... Or if I just forced them open like a clam or something. See, there we go. There we go. You're working with me. Work it. There we go. Open, 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 open. Man, I am losing HP like no one's business. Jeez, there's still more up here? Come on. Alright, one more? Or no, wait, yeah, one more. Where the hell is he? Why is he so high up in the air? Where is it? Jeez. Alright, now let's take on, I believe... We have two Cyclopses. Yeah, let's use the magic before we even get there. That didn't take away a lot. Fly away! Oh, whoa, I dodged that. This was a bad move. Damn, you dodge one and you gotta hit another. And I think these guys were really... Look at this, they were like really... Tr I wouldn't call the term trigger happy, but... I feel like... Jeez, you got it. And then look at this. Now I'm F in the A. Look at these guys. They don't even give me any time to charge. I want to say it really depends on the proximity of how close you are. If they'll charge up or something. Oh, shit. See, look. He already charges again. Doesn't his eye got to take a rest from getting whacked like that? Oh, son of a bitch. Why this would be in the ass. Damn Cyclopses. There we go, and I think I did it, but not at 50%. Yeah, so I just I just have to tweak my uh you know tweak my um the way I kill these guys and do it as fast. And we would get a scream, which is a weapon, uh it's a knife kind of weapon. It's pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we will continue on with the story. See you later.